Hi, my name is Sonia Seglin, and I'm a therapist in both Illinois and New Jersey. My absolute passion is working with anxious and perfectionist moms of young children. I'm pretty obsessed with challenging the cultural norms and expectations that we have on us in the United States. I deeply, deeply believe that if you're caring for somebody else and you're raising small children, you also really need to know how to care for yourself. We're almost never taught how to do that in a truly effective way. The last thing I would want is for your self-care to be something else that's just another thing on your to-do list. As a perfectionist in recovery myself, I am very, very aware of just how uncomfortable and scary it can feel when you think you're not doing something just the way it's supposed to be done. This kind of problematic perfectionism is usually rooted in old, dusty beliefs that used to be helpful, but maybe no longer are. So the work in therapy would be to take the time to look at what those beliefs are, where they came from, and then make a really intentional decision about whether they're still serving you or whether maybe it's time to learn some new beliefs based on new values that you now hold. So what might this look like for you? What might this problematic perfectionism look like? Well, it could mean that you're trying so hard to hold back anger or um, frustration that suddenly you find yourself bursting out, uh, snapping at your children, snapping at your husband. And you really don't like seeing yourself that way, but you don't know how to change. So that might mean looking at, well, what is that anger for you? What is that coming from? What are the beliefs that are leading to you feeling angry? And what can we shift in those situations? Another example might be on the other end of the spectrum, you just say yes to everything. And, and there's no, um, you, you never feel okay saying no or setting a boundary. So that might mean that we're going to learn some new ways to cope with the emotions that are coming up when you feel like maybe you should be saying no, but you don't want to. I'm trained in a variety of techniques to help you work through whatever it is that you're bringing in. Some of these techniques are more directive and goal-oriented, which means we would sit down early in our work together, set the goals that are most important to you, and really um, have a structured plan of how we're going to move towards those goals. Other techniques are more um, organic and free-flowing, uh, just sort of allowing the work to develop as it will. You and I will discuss what's going to work best for you. I'm also trained in using the outdoors to facilitate the therapeutic process so we can always go outside. There's a park nearby my office that we can go outside and use in therapy. And I'm also trained in a technique called eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, which allows people to work through old stuff, old trauma that's showing up in their lives today. Facing hard emotions is one of the bravest strongest things that you can do. You do not need to do it by yourself.